Hello everyone, I am Sandesh Kupute. I am a trainer for Tata Technologies and content developer for IGT. So today in this session, we will discuss the creation of PMS section view with drafting interface and assembly filters. So let us see example of the same. So here I have opened one assembly named as ratchet assembly. See here. So this is ratchet assembly I have opened here. So initially first we will introduce our PMI environment. So now see here in the top bar uh, there is no any PMI environment is available here. So here some options are here available here to get it the PMI environment. So initially uh, the first option is go to the file in the here here see here here the PMI it option is available it will turn on the product and manufacturing information that is PMI application so if I select on the PMI see here here my PMI environment I will get it from there or otherwise see here if I uncheck from here so if I go to the tools here is the second option is available so under the utilities under the more see here PMI environment is available so if I check this see here here my PMI environment will come here. See here some options are available such as dimensions, annotations, tables, supplementary options, tools, display, security marketing, etc. So under tools category, see here, here the tools category is there. Under this section view option is available. So if I select on the section view, uh, section view dialog box will open here. So here some options are available such as one plane, two parallel plane and box. Okay. So we will see one by one. Initially we will select one plane. So here in the object to section. So here we have to select the components or objects which we have to include in the our section view. So on sake I will select all the sections. Okay. Now see here section is coming like this in the x direction okay so i want to change this to y or z so i can change from this section plane from this plane option so if i want to go to the y see here by selecting the y section plane here one plane is to be created if i select this plane and i will adjust my plane according to users requirement so if i adjust this like this okay so here i can also give the name for my section view so here i will write ratchet section okay so if i click on ok so here one ratchet section is to be created if i double click we will navigate to our section view. Now, here I want to apply now my dimensions or annotations by using the PMI options available. So, in the dimension node, see here one rapid option is available. So, if I select rapid dimensioning, it will navigate to me to my rapid dimension dialog box so here, here it is asking for select the first object so now i am going to highlight this one to this one so here 7.1 so place the dimension as per your requirement now i want to highlight the gap between this and this so this is pointed cam so I will place the dimension here now I want to move the dimension from this to this as 1.1 so click on close to close the dimension dialog box and see here the dimensions are created under the section view so here the section view is there here like linear dimensions are to be created like this so uh, initially before 
using the PMI, what we are doing that we are going to the drafting environment and we are taking the section view and giving the dimensions which are not visible without giving the section. So likewise in the by using the PMI environment we can use the section view the model view itself and we can it, we can also highlight this section view to our drafting environment. So what I will do I will go to the drafting environment by pressing Ctrl Shift D or directly I can go from file drafting. So after navigating to the drafting it will we will we'll take first one new sheet new sheet I have selected new sheet so I will select A0 as my paper size or sheet size click on OK so one sheet is created so here by default popular title block dialog box is open so I will close that okay so after closing that see here a base view window will directly open okay so here in the model view option is available so from that I can select the view which I have to take as my base view so see here the ratchet section view that we have already created is seen here under this model view if I select ratchet section see here our section view is to be highlighted here so if I select the scale for this is 2 as to 1 ok and place the view wherever you require ok so after placing my view see here the section view is to be placed but my dimensions or annotations that I have given by using PMI environment are not highlighting here so what I will do I will select this view right click go to the setting so and under this common catalog here PMI node is there so if I select PMI node so here option is available as from model views means it will apply all the settings or all the dimensions which are I have created under this PMI are to be highlighted in this view so if I select from model view see here the options are to be available here dimensions feature control frame so datum targets, nodes, general nodes, specific nodes, coordinate nodes, balloon nodes, custom symbols, line base, material specifications like that, etc. etc. are options are available. So whatever you want to highlight in this drafting, you can select from check or uncheck from these options available. So if I check all the view or uh, all the PMI and click on OK, see here. So here the dimensions or annotations that I have given are to be highlighted in my section view by using the drafting interface. Okay, so this is one of the example of the section view. So if I delete this section view, I will delete this sheet and once again I will go to my modeling environment and here I will select isometric view I will delete this section view which I have created already so I have deleted this I will select isometric view once again I will go to the PMI I will go to the section view and I will choose my another option available under the section view is two parallel planes so if I select two parallel planes see here two parallel planes are to be visible to user ok so I will here write as section name as ratchet parallel plane ok so likewise here also we can select x y or z planes as per our requirement so I will select here y and initially I will select this plane and I will offset as per my requirement where I will require the section of this plane and I will select another plane and I will adjust like this so here 
then we have to select the objects under the section what I want to select this. Okay. So I have selected three components that I want to include in my section view and click OK. See. So by using two parallel planes we can add the section view like this. So I will control Z this section. I will select isometric view. I will once again I will go to the section view and here my third option is box. So I will select box see here. One box is to be created. So if I select on X means uh, the component which is to be included in this box is only highlighted in our section view. So I will select the objects. So I will select all the objects and I will name give as ratchet box section box section box then here by selecting any plane or face we can adjust our section box so here if I select this plane and I will offset like this Then I want to higher change my this section. Then see. Here. So by selecting any face uh, from this box, we can adjust my offset from here and click. OK. So here, uh, by using the box option, we have created one section view here. Okay. So. This is my section view by using three options that is one is box, one is two parallel planes and one is the by using single plane. Now we will move to the assembly filters. So here I have one assembly called as PMI assembly filters. Under that uh, plates are there, shafts are there, washers are there, nuts, bolts are there. Okay, so I will go to the part navigator first. See here, isometric work view is now there. So I will select trimetric as my work view. So here, uh, one explorer view I have created under the trimetric view. Okay, so this is my explorer view. So now I have to apply some of the my PMI assembly options such as dimension, nodes, annotations and I have to filter that so that I can view my the assembly filters that are applied such as dimension and annotations to my that only to that view I can create my assembly filter option so first I will select as a trimetric as my work view where I have created the explorer view then right click on the model views and here add view option is there if I select on the add view, see here, one parametric view is to be created. So I will now name it as a PMI assembly filter. So I will copy the PMI assembly filter and right click here, rename. So here I will write as a PMI assembly filter. See here. So it is PMI assembly filter view I have created now. So under the model view one option is available that is PMI assembly filter so if I select on PMI assembly filter and right click here here add filter option is there so under this add filter option here display all option is available so if I select on display all here filter that we have to we have we want to create uh, one dialog box is to be opened here I can give the name for my filter as uh, let's see PMI assembly filter plate and shaft means I want to include only my plate and shafts to that filter and here component to use means which component I have to include in my assembly filter I have to select from the selected so I will select this plate this plate this shaft and this shaft and click on ok after clicking ok see here 
one assembly filter is to be created named as a pm assembly filter plate and shaft which we have named earlier okay so here if i select on right click and apply to views so i will select apply to views so so which uh, this filter i have to use to which view we have to select from this list so here the pmi assembly filter view is available so i will select or check this and click on okay so here uh, one window is open showing that the selected pmi assembly filter will not result in any pmi being displayed until the oving component is open okay so okay no problem i want to uh, apply this filter to this view so i will click on okay see here so whichever the pmi dimensions or annotations that are applied individually to that part are to be highlighted in this pmi assembly filter view because uh, as it is view created with the expanded view but i want uh, i have to filter the my annotations to only these parts so these are to be created so now i want to add uh, this washer also in this my filter so what i will do so here by right clicking on the pmi assembly filter here edit option is there so i can edit my filter so here these are selected now i will select this washer also and click on ok now see here uh, my pmi dimensions are not seen here so i will go to the assembly i will double click on washer and once again i will select on the assembly so now it will show in my assembly filter now see here also for the same my assembly filters my pmi dimensions and annotations are not seen to these shafts so what i will do just double click on the shaft then double click on the assembly now my annotations or dimensions are to be seen to my filters in this pmi assembly filter view okay so likewise we can add to add components to my filters and we can add by pmi dimensions to my view by using assembly filter options so this is the two topics we have discussed today that is one is the section view so in the section view we have seen the three options that is one plane then two parallel planes and one is the box and the second command we have we have uh, <coughs> learned today that is pmi assembly filter so shortly we are also releasing our new training materials named as model based definition so please tune on this and thank you for attending this session be in touch with i get it uh, for new sessions and training materials thank you so if you have any doubts you can free to ask me thank you